Hey guys, it's Oak. I'm back again with another video. This time I'm going to rehash something that uh, I've done before, but there's been a few changes to GSE. Uh, so I just wanted to get an up-to-date version of this out there. Uh, it hasn't changed much, but uh, I'm going to teach you how to import a sequence, get it keybound, and get going. So you just logged into your new character, level 70, and you found a nice looking sequence on either the Wild Lazy Macros forum or the GSE United Discord uh, and you decided that you want to import it. I will show you how. So you open up Google or your favorite search engine. Just search for Wild Lazy Macros. It's the first link. Click on it. And we're looking for a Unholy Death Knight sequence. So Death Knights are right here at the top. Just click on Unholy for the War Within. And I want to import my sequence. So click on Oak Unholy. It's going to drop me down to the latest post. So just scroll all the way to the top. And we see the post here. It tells you how to use this particular sequence. Uh, it also gives you an idea of the talents that are used with the sequence. And then you just click the import string for the little copy icon up in this corner. So you click copy. If you don't want to use Wild Lazy Macros, you can always go to the GSE United Discord. For that, just put into your address bar, discord.gg slash GSE United. Hit enter. And it'll bring you into the GSE United Discord. You'll come to the welcome page. Uh, you want to scroll down on the left and we're looking for a Death Knight sequence. So click on Death Knight. I want to import my sequence, which is right here. So just click Oak Death Knight Sequences and then click Unholy. Now it'll bring you to my Death Knight Sequence post and you will click on the import string, which brings you back to Wild Lazy Macros. So you do the same thing. Click on the little copy icon and then you have it copied to import into WoW. From there, you'll go back into the world of Warcraft. You'll type in GSE, and I'll show you that I do not have any of these sequences imported at the current time. So I don't have anything keybound. I don't have the Outbreak macro set. So I'll just close all of these, uh, but that's just to show you I'm starting from a fresh install. So you'll just click import, and then you'll paste the import string that you got either from the GSE Discord or from Wild Lazy Macros and click import. It'll come up with this interface. This is asking you what you want to import. So I have three different sequences, the single target, the AOE, and the no CDs version, along with the outbreak macro that I made in my previous video. The outbreak macro is required if you're using the no CDs version. So you just click import, wait for it to show up in your chat box, and it'll show you everything that was imported. You can verify that it imported the sequences by clicking on sequences. You'll see the three different sequences listed here. And if you want to make sure that the macro came in, you can see that the macro was imported here. So let's close both of those. Now in order to use these sequences, you do need to keybind them. So on your bar, you're not going to have any icons or anything to drag to the bar. These sequences do have to be bound to a key. So as I've said in previous videos, I like to use the brackets. So you just go to key bindings, click on new, click on the not bound, choose the key that you want to bind, choose the sequence you want to bind that to, and then click save. And then it'll show up on the left. Now I'm going to do that two more times. I'm going to hit new. I'm going to choose the right bracket and choose the AOE and click save. Then finally I'm going to bind the no CDs versions. So click new. I'll put the backslash because these are the keys that I like to use. Uh, you by no means have to use these same keys. These are just the ones that I've been using for several years while using this uh, add-on. So now you have all three sequences bound. You can hit close, close, and then we'll try them out. 
I'm in Boralis at the three training dummies here, and uh, I will go ahead and just use my AoE sequence. Now, the way you use the sequence is you do have to spam your key. So the key that you bound it to, uh, you can hit it many times over and over again manually. Uh, what a lot of people like to do is they like to use their keyboard software to click the key. Uh, the best way to do that is by using the hold down function because then it means that you're actually here using your spam key. So I have my keyboard software remapping my right bracket over to one of the G keys on my keyboard. Then I'll hold down that G key to go into my sequence. Now you can see the sequence working down here with the weak or that was just recently published. It shows the sequence going through the different sequence of spells and then it actually shows what spell goes off here. So that works with all three key bindings. Uh, that was the AoE. Uh, this will be the single target which you'll see it pop up here. And then you have the no CDs version. Now, I don't really like clutter on my screen, so I don't use this weak aura, but I, I was putting it on here for demonstration purposes. So, put a link for this weak aura down in the description, as well as a link to my Death Knight sequence, which I linked when I made the sequence uh, in my prior video. But that should be all you need to get up and running with GSE. As always, if you like the video, please hit the like button. I hope that you choose to subscribe as well, as I'll be putting out more and more content. And as always, I appreciate every single comment that you put down below. Thank you again, and uh, have a great day.